Yeah, every day, mate. I mean, it's just there's not one day that passes by that I take it for granted. Um, it, it was kind of a long journey, so now that I'm here, it's, uh, it's very sweet. I make sure that I enjoy it every single day. I left Australia in 2009, and then I started, um, well, I didn't start, I finished my high school over there. I did year 12, uh, the senior year, they like to call it, over in America. Um, at a high school that was right down the street from LSU. It was only about 10 minutes away, so um, I kind of got on LSU's radar by playing at that high school. Um, and then the recruiting started and then the next year, you know, I was at LSU, it all happened real quick. I was only meant to be over in the country for 12 months and then go back. Um, and here I am still, you know, seven, eight years later. What was the moment when you first picked up an American football and you thought, you know, I, I could get a fairly good handle on this? Um, my dad had a lot to do with it. You know, my dad had a uh, short stint in the NFL back in the early 90s. He was with the Detroit Lions um, just for the preseason. So. He kind of implemented, introduced me to the sport a little bit. Um, I was the only kid in the neighborhood that knew anything about American football and had an actual American football. So once I got cut um, from the Sandringham Dragons um, in Aussie Rules, I kind of, you know, that, that was a big wake up call. So dad said, you know, why don't you have, have a punt? And he kind of introduced me to it a little bit. And uh, yeah, I fell in love with it. Um, well, in Aussie rules, I always had one of the furthest kicks on the team. Um, you know, that, that's, that was, you know, all the way through, all the way through juniors. Um, so once I converted to the American ball, it took a little while because it's a, there's a few differences in the technique um, side of it. But once I, once I got it down, I, I thought, you know, I had a pretty, pretty good shot at, um, at, you know, at least playing in high school over in America. He's got it wide open. Nobody left. Wing. He's got a blocker in front. Wayne is back. Yeah, that was, that was a big, um, I guess, moment, memory um, in this entire experience. You know, probably one of the bigger ones is, you know, running into the end zone there at LSU, 100,000 people going off their heads. So that was a very exciting moment. Um, and then about 10 seconds later, they pulled the points off the board. So it was, uh, it was a bit bittersweet, but even still to this day, I get people stop me and, well, I, I was there or I remember watching that play. So that's kind of, uh, I think, the play that's with me forever. Manning, end zone! It's crazy, you know, it's, it's crazy just to watch what he's turned into, you know, we were roommates in college, so I knew him before anyone knew his name, so to now kind of see him go from that to, like you said, one of the biggest names in sports in the world, you know, he goes to Germany, he goes to London, everyone knows who he is, so it's been, um, it's been crazy to kind of just watch someone who I consider to be, you know, just a normal person turn into a, a superstar, rock star. It's, it's just been crazy. Odell Beckham Jr. for Giants touchdown! You have got to be kidding me. I mean, this guy does it almost on a weekly basis. This is unbelievable. How this ball does not come loose when he hits the ground, I have no idea. Um, it's, it's great. It hasn't changed. Nothing's changed with him and I. Um, and I think that's what I appreciate. I, I'm, I'm appreciating more about him as, as all this goes on because he doesn't change. He hasn't changed at all. You know, with all the noise that goes on outside, all the accolades he gets, this and that, he, he's been the same from day one. So him and I, we're, we're as tight as we were when we were back in college. Okay, but recently you were name checked by Nicki Minaj on a Calvin Harris song. Yeah. How did this all come about? Yeah, just the power of Instagram, I guess, you know. Um, Yao Ming the dunk, and I'm playing the field, Brad Wing the punt. She, she kind of reached out to me over Instagram a little bit. We went back and forth, and then um, she told me she had a surprise for me, and next thing I know, that, that song comes out. So that was, a, that was another big, uh, big day, you know. It was very surprising and um, just something I never thought would happen. I was shocked, you know, like I said, just young kid from Australia, never in a million years thought that I'd be in this country in the NFL, let alone have uh, Nicki Minaj say my, or know what my name is, so it was, uh, it was pretty good. And here in beautiful Sydney, Australia, the return of college football in 2017 inside of Allianz Stadium. I know there's college games going over to Australia, so I'd love to, I mean, I would absolutely, that'd be a dream come true, playing an American football game in Australia. That'd be great. And how far can you see these New York Giants going this season, Brad? I think we're going to be pretty good. You know, the, the feel around the locker room is good. We obviously have all the talent we need, so um, we're excited to get going, starting with this week in Dallas. And just a final one, what would it mean to you to win an NFL Super Bowl ring? Uh, it'd be uh, it's it, it'd be a dream come true. You know, all this is a dream come true. But I think that would just cap it off. You know, that'd be it's obviously what we work for every day, and that'd be a good finish to the story. I think.